Same mics Prince used. Boy, bye. On no gang. We running? Okay. Wait, let me take another shot to really get in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> this is not nice. bitch. Hawaiian punch. Mm-hmm. I hope nobody knows that we're drinking Hawaiian punch, even though we're starting because they gonna think we're kids. I mean, it's so funny when I go on campus and I be like, "Yeah, I'm 24," and it'd be like 20 year olds. They'd be like, "Oh my god, black really doesn't crack. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to look like?" <laughs> Like you Asian? Bro, Four years mean. later is crazy saying black don't crack. Like the hell? Let me know when we get to 30. Um, welcome back to the show. Number one podcast on the Inserf. Mm-hmm. And today we have another podcast, another banger with my personal, my family here. <laughs> I don't even know. I go to usually I would I'm used to stand sitting across from rappers and shit, be like, yeah, my my man's mm-hmm. No, but, it's the cousin today. This is my cousin Britt, guys. Give a round of applause. She's here on the show just to come in and talk some banter with us. I don't know why you want to come on the show. I don't be doing shit. I'm, I'm not an interest. It's nothing interesting here. I know. I, I know all about you. No, your life interesting, boo. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that interesting. But anyway, what's up with you? How are you doing today on Friday? I'm doing great. Just got out of class and yeah. You loving that Morgan State University campus? It's been fun. Not going to lie. I made some good connections, some networking. So we're What doing are you good. studying at Morgan? I'm doing human resources. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be that girl. Nice pantsuits with the heels on, red bottoms, you know. That's going to be did me, you, big did, girl. You, did you say pantsuit? Yeah. That's going to okay. be me. Boss. I mean, excuse me. Excuse my language, boss bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get it right. That's hot. Damn. Um. So you want to be like and work in HR at like some company somewhere? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that should be great. You need you, you need to be in somebody's business. I will be legally. Mm-hmm. You can be and in somebody. You might be all up in my business, so you might as well get started. I'm not going to get in your business. I'm just going to. I'm just having a conversation. Like this is this is a nice break for me from talking to rappers and like having to listen to music for like questions and shit. <laughs> and they be like, yeah, listen to my album and then ask me questions about it. like nigga, what are you you're not talking about nothing in the album? No, that shit cringy as fuck. I don't know how you do that. Me personally. <laughs> hey, <laughs> me you personally. Got, it, get used to. Oh, you couldn't do my job. <laughs> No, no, thank you. <laughs> you know, if you if you was an interviewer interviewing niggas, they they would get so they won't be so they wouldn't be able to see past the point that your girl a light skinned girl. Oh my gosh! They'll be like, but what you like? What type of names you into? That? <laughs> That's how they be, bro. Nah, throw back to that one interview where niggas look like they was ready to rob you. Oh yeah, shout out to Big Ken Nuts. <laughs> I'm trying to get him back on the show. Hopefully, with less people this time. That was so funny. Uh, like so you're freshly single. Yeah, <laughs> yes I am. How fresh? How fresh are you single are you? Is it, has it been a month yet? Yes, it has been a month. Exactly? No, not exactly. A little longer than a month. That's how, how you liking? How you liking the freshly single life? Um, it's something to get used to. I can't say that it's like something that I like, but you don't like it. I mean, <laughs> it's not something that I wanted technically, <laughs> but um, it's it's just a lot to get used to. But like what I mean I know it's like I know one thing You gotta figure out A whole new routine I do have to figure out A whole new routine Like just being alone And learning me again So You know I mean that's good That's good It say it say in the bible That you'll find You find yourself Or it says you'll find God in, God in solitude Oh my gosh yes I've been having A great relationship With God recently um, I just came back From bible study yesterday With one of my friends And it was just Talking about waiting Mm-hmm. Waiting on God Like when I pray a, a lot of people Look for an answer Right then and there But I have to realize That I need to take time And allow him Some time to Really Work things out for me mm-hmm. I need to understand Some things Yeah I really do You need to, uh, you need to I, feel, I feel like you need To get some bruises On them knees You know what I mean That's okay, yeah, the, best, now, the best way to say it you know? I'm now getting These bruises on my knees Okay and it, I mean, you know, hopefully you guys just fall in love with the process. God wants you mm-hmm. to fall in love with the process and thank and being thankful for Him giving you that opportunity to go through this. Keep falling on your face and all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! And you was talking about how you have to get into this new routine and how you wake up with God. Now is that mm-hmm. what are what are some of the new things that's in your routine now that you wouldn't think of yourself be doing? Like you said, how you go to Bible study, how you. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, like um, actually picking up a Bible. Honestly, that's that took a long time for me to pick up a Bible and actually read it. I don't know if the I'm a beginner when it comes to the Bible. You ever see those big words that you really can't mm. pronounce? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I ask Siri all the time. But like, um, that's I one. Like um, I went to church alone. I went to church by myself, which you need to come to. You need to come back to um, church. Um, I went to church alone with my without my mom mm-hmm. i felt like that was some big girl stuff i had a good message that day and um just i don't know being an evangelist just spreading his word mm. you know and um every day just starting life with a positive mindset yeah that is important for sure I feel myself getting healthier as a person i thought the relationship that i was in was healthy but like now that I'm out of it, like you said, you wasn't you wasn't putting God first in that yeah, situation, so I that's wasn't. not good to start with even. Yeah. So. Well, I'm happy. I'm happy for you. I'm glad to see. You. I'm glad to see where you're gonna go next. This is, I feel like this is a perfect time for you to come on the show. You have advice. These hoes need to know about God. You know what I mean? They, yes. they know too much. Oh my gosh, too hoes and God in the same Ooh. sentence is so crazy. <laughs> what? What? I, oh, oh, I said hoes. But it's okay. I mean, okay. what else are they? No, we need to bring back shame. Oh yeah, we, we need just, to I was just watching shame. a video about that, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. I know Sex Red be talking about some showing a camel tones. Oh, no, that's Glorilla. Glorilla. Be oh, that's about disgusting. Show her moose knuckle and stuff too. Oh God, no. Like, where, did she that grow, back. where did she grow that shit at? She didn't have that the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, keep that shit inside. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, we know nobody wants to see that much cleavage. That's crazy. Cleavage, nigga. We is not talking about that. Mm. Um, talk about some of your. I want to talk about so. Have you this not this your first time at Morgan? This your first time at like a university or mm-hmm. some shit, shit like that. Yeah. And before you and before you you were like, um, did you have would you have a full time schedule at college before then? Um, I was at CCBC and I graduated, so now I'm at Morgan pursuing my HR degree. What is um, what would you say the difference? In- bro, I'm not gonna lie. The work at CCBC was harder than the work that I'm getting at Morgan. I'm For not real? gonna lie. Yes, I'm not gonna lie. The work that I had at CCBC was really keeping me up from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. at CCBC the whole time. Damn, at the campus. That's at crazy. At the campus the whole time. Yeah, not that, I, I remember that when I was at college, when I was there. And that's exactly why you ain't go back, and I understand. No, it's not. It's the, no, the reason why I really dropped out was just because it was COVID. And like, just this shift from online, it just really fucked me in my it ass. It was. That's why I took like yeah. that two-year break in um, their financial aid. But... Yeah, I'm back, and I think I mean I want to make more money, so that's the really real reason why I'm back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. I definitely need to go back to college too, because I was just like, I feel like that whole COVID thing just a bit of fat ass excuse, like fuck college. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I haven't been back since. I need to go back. It's not for everybody. If you're not fully dedicated to it, don't do it. I mean, it was okay. I mean, maybe maybe I just liked it for the wrong reasons. Like I'm a very social person. Like, go to Morgan. Uh uh-uh, uh, I can't go up to Morgan. Why not? Come to work with me. <laughs> that would be that would be hilarious. Nah, you should come. But like, it's I, chill. It is. It is. I haven't been I haven't been up there for, since like years, years, years. Well, I be minding my business, so it's chill for me. But I don't know about everybody else. Yeah, no, I haven't thought about going back to the university. That's that's too. That's my balls ain't that big. <laughs> I don't know. I can't. Mm-hmm. I don't even feel that. I don't even feel that smart. I'm, I'm, I don't even feel that smart. But that's not. This not a me. This not a me, me, me interview. Mm-hmm. Um, for 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 women for women out there watching this that is also going through maybe a a, a time with a breaking up, tell them some things that help you. I mean, that oh, helps you. Yeah, I have a best friend, and she stayed with me for five days straight, just sitting here watching me cry, helping me get a new um hobby. I do tennis now. Um, Damn, that shit hard. Tennis that's is hard. Shit. Tennis is hard as fuck. It's not the same as like I'm one out of week. shape. No, <laughs> no, no, I do tennis now. Um, I don't know, but getting into a hobby, getting closer with God, making new friends and getting back to my education, really bossing up is really what's helping me. Okay. It's really what's helping me for sure. I'm making good connections. Like That's good. That's valuable. Way, way valuable if you was working at Amazon making a lot of money. It's mm-hmm. Connections and human, and human connection is the most valuable thing ever. Yeah, it is. But I've been dating myself recently. I'm um, just going out by myself. It's not 
Mm-hmm. Dating yourself. That's a yeah. good term. How do yeah. you like dating yourself? Do you like yourself as a person? I do. <laughs> if it was me, I'd be outside with a motherfucking boom box if I was dating. <laughs> Hell yeah. If it was me, yes. Especially me now. Me outside of the relationship, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm um, more in tune with myself. So, yes, I'd be outside in, with that boom box in the rain. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> it's perfect to be in love with yourself. That's I feel like you said it most importantly. You got to, you gotta for, if you want to heal from anything, if you want to move forward towards anything, you got to love yourself first, and then you got to have mm-hmm. a, like those connections, that support system. Then you got to have God. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the three main things that I feel like you need to conquer anything. Mm-hmm. What's up? So I hope somebody wrote that down. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite part about the, being at a university? Um, I really like the culture. I like, um, uh, I guess, the events. I'm not really an outside girly, but going here, it has been very nice. Very outside-ish. Yeah, um, that's nice. It's not... Ghetto, like people be saying, like, oh, Morgan's not safe. It's not. It's, That's just racist when people say that. Like, it's a black it is. college. <laughs> it is. A, it's an HBCU, and it's a really good HBCU yeah. at that. So, um, I like how everyone tries to get everyone included in something. I feel included in something mm. in an organization. Um, I just so joined like it's like a transfer organization. We have a big group chat, and no one's just no one's left out. Wow. I like that. How many people? What is, how much? How many people in the group chat makes yeah. it a big group chat? Um, it gotta be. Well, this one's twenty plus. Damn, so that's that's a large. It's a large group chat. <laughs> okay, so let's get into let's get into this thing. Um, like you said, you don't want to. You don't like you said the plan wasn't to be single. You don't. You wouldn't. You wouldn't prefer it. So would you put say put yourself saying that you're on the market or you? Oh, not right now. No. That's too soon. Mm-hmm. I'm not on the market. I'm emotionally unstable to be with anyone. Okay. So that's great. A lot of people need yeah. to know like when to take time for themselves because like, a lot of people they just start looking for the next opportunity. Oh no, I'd be a walking red flag. A hundred percent walking red flag. Shit. So no, I'm not on the market right now at all. Fuck. Give me like maybe two years. Two that's years a, that's, to that's a really time. know me. You're going to be a goddamn superhero by then. You know I that? Am. I'm going to be one with God and I'm going to be where I want to be with my career. Holy I'm speaking that. So existence. hopefully this this is a document as of the before effect. You know yeah, what I mean? I'm going to look back on this in two years and be like, yeah, I'm where I want to be. You had the right foundation. You have the right found, foundation. Mm-hmm. What are your, what are, what are your um, like you said, one of the important things to... to I'm that phone. <laughs> yo, 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 yo! We live recording right now. We can't be on the phone right now. Camera live. What you? What you need? That's crazy. Nick. He said he couldn't wait for. Oh damn. Okay. Um. So, um. Let me get back to the question I was saying. Oh, you said one of the most important things of uh, healing is having good connections and, good, and a good support system. Um, yes, for what, sure. What? What? How do you? How do you pick your friends, or what's, what are the red flags for good friends and bad friends? Like, how do you decipher that? You know, with um, my best friend, um, he said red flags. Well, lying for sure. Lying for sure. Um, I don't like when people try to be super buddy buddy on my other friends. Uh, it's like first meet up. I feel like that's a little, you know, it's like, it's like um, when they try to step in my place in that person's life. I've been mm-hmm. through that. I I didn't really like that. Um, let's see. I've had people have relations with someone that I was dating. What? Got pregnant by him. Fucked your man. Fucked my man. As some would say. <laughs> <laughs> Got pregnant by him. Gang, he, we, he have to realize that we're recording. I don't answer phone calls while we're recording unless it's important. Well, Aunt, you heard that. Um, we, I'm sorry, Ammo Diddy. I got priorities too. <laughs> uh, what else? Green flags. Um, someone that's really pushing me to be better. Someone that is also aligned with me and what I want to do in life. Like, um, we have to be one with God. We have to want better for ourselves. Um, it's just, I want someone who's uplifting, mm. for sure. My best friend is that. Mm. 
She helps me when I am down. Nigga, you said she was there five days straight. I don't, I don't want to be with you five days straight. Okay. Especially in that. <laughs> just, in a, just regular out. <laughs> I don't want to be with you five days straight either. It's like, I was joking. But that's okay. That's, but that's, that is, a, now this nigga calling me. <laughs> this nigga needs to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Um, I think imp- having right friends is important because a lot mm-hmm. of people take in the wrong friends and they think of just for the minor fact of them needing Friends like just needing friends, like they're going to take anybody, whoever. But you mm-hmm. have to look at a friendship relationship as a sort of relationship, like you know, what I mean, as a boyfriend girlfriend relationship in some way, just mm-hmm. not intimate. You know, what I mean, yeah, straight. You got to care for that shit. Let me call this nigga back. Let him know we can't um t- talk talk to the people. Why call this nigga back? Um, that's our cousin Aunt. He was supposed to be here. He worked a nine to five. He couldn't be here. Sorry, Aunt. I'm sorry, dummy. <laughs> Don't y'all hate the player, hate the game. Yo. Yeah. Up, Yo, we recording live. I'm happy we're gonna call you back in a minute. What you ready to be on your way? I don't you gonna you gonna miss it, but but I, mean, I gotta hang up. We got we recording live, we gotta keep running. Bada boom, bada bing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's get back to it. What's the next question I have for you, Brittany? You have a question for me? Damn. Government is crazy. Everybody named Brittany. My <clears throat> middle name Brittany. How's it been being unemployed? It's it's just like the coins is just dried up. <laughs> like everything I had saved up and all the money I was getting and shit is just getting to like, oh, it's just getting to that point where it's dried up. You know, one day I checked your location, maybe last week, weekend, uh-huh. and it said, um, what were you in? Virginia? Virginia? Yeah. Oh, but you broke. I I won I won a I won a um I won a three night stay a three day stay at a at a private at a resort. How you win that? I, when I went to the Maryland Fair, they was like, yeah, sign up here for to win to win like a raffle type. And thing. you won it. And I won. Damn. Me and Shorty won. Yep. Damn. Did y'all enjoy yourself? I liked it. It was spiders. They tried to sell us on buying a Tom share. That was the whole oh, thing. Oh no. But it was spiders. But that's that's, that's about it. <laughs> you can fucking spiders. I don't like that shit. Mm. But and nice. um, let's see. Would you ever quit smoking? Would I ever quit smoking? I feel like I'm gonna have to. Mm. The type of the, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna be forced to. How about before. drinking? I'm 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 gonna. I feel like I feel like that's easier to quit. Okay. I, I've quit drinking is not the hardest thing to quit. You mm. know, like like lean lean with jaws and like pill with jaws. Like that that was probably the worst thing ever. Mm. So I I'm like now I feel like I can quit anything. Now, now. Okay. Does your audience really know you, who Chris is? No, these niggas don't know me at all. Oh, okay. So you want you want to interview? No, no. They should know you. They should know me, but it's just like who's gonna actually like? Be... Shit. They know your government. Say no. No, they don't need to know my government. <laughs> but it only take only take one. It only take one bad. It only take one salt salty ass hoe to expose you. Now every now now, now everybody know. It only take. That's all it takes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, luckily for me, I'm not in the business of of, of my own stable and maintaining my stable no more. I'm, I only I got one horse and I'm sticking with it. Okay, I know that's right. Yes, I, that's, I know. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, I mean, one this, horse is this, crazy, I, I'm gonna put a ring on it. I'm put. A, I want to get married and I want to procreate myself because, oh. like, like you say, like you said, like um, you're not the only person having re- religious awakenings. Niggas mm. can read the Bible. Now I can read. I be mm. reading this shit, and I'm a God person too. Okay. <laughs> you're a God person. She okay. got. She don't got one by default. She 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 won by default just because with me. Like every time we eat, I'm like, all right, come on, let's pray. Like mm-hmm. every time we about to go on a long drive, she like, let's pray That's before beautiful. the. Yeah, so it's it's in, but I, it's just important to do because. Mm. If you believe in yourself, that's that's what Satan wants you to do. Believe in. He wants you to believe that you are better than like in this earth. All this earthy shit is better than shit that you can't see in the future. Like you know what I mean? When we when we mm-hmm. long gone from here. You know, one thing that helped me is like. Um, there is no man on this earth that is greater than the man upstairs mm-hmm. at all. So, and also with your relationship, you know, if it's really love, yes. I hope y- y'all, whatever problems y'all ever go through, I pray y'all work it out for real. Whatever it might be. If y'all feel as though it's true love, make sure y'all work that stuff out. We love to see black love. Yes, it is. I'm not making no hunky dunky lotto babies. What? That was racist. <laughs> that was racist. That was racist. Let me take it back. Let me take it back. I don't want to talk about political shit on my fucking 
channel. Oh, because we can get into it, but no, that's not. But that's I not. do want to talk about it. I feel like we got to, to a certain but, threshold to could have should have. I think we got into past a certain threshold where like where like YouTube can't censor our shit as political shit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, who are you voting for? Ooh, you know. Damn. Uh, let's not disclose that. But um, you saw them shoot out her um her office. You saw them shoot her office up. No. Oh yeah, they shot her office up. When? Like, I don't know. Maybe two days ago. Damn, I didn't get that. I mean, no one was in her office, granted. But like, they shooting the presidents. But they shot both candidates. Shot hey, at both candidates. They don't. They don't kill them like they used to. God bless. <laughs> I mean. God forbid any one of them die, but mm, there's one that probably should not be running. <laughs> Girl. He got to know some government secrets to be there, bro. I swear, there's no way he's convicted, got these charges, and is still able to run for president. And one thing oh, one thing that's really been shaking my soul recently what? is that guy that was on death row. You know who I'm talking oh, about? Oh, yep, yep. Oh, my gosh. That. When I saw that... Ah, damn near cried Bro, it, just, it just tells you that Our system did Hasn't you, changed Did you see the judge? Did you see what he looked like? No, Bro. I didn't see the judge He looked like Hunky Dunky Hunky Dunky White Yep Yep That's how they usually look But it's crazy Because man, Let's get away from political shit I don't <laughs> <laughs> In the system Like Yeah, it's that's just a whole, That's a whole hour Man, let alone Like, I feel like We got a long way to go from Because we Our past is corrupt Mm-hmm. And you know what I mean, and it's just like just we can't just it don't it doesn't take one presidential term to change a, a oh, six hundred no. years of fucked up shit. You know what I mean? It's just getting worse, honestly. It is getting worse. The people that's in power are getting more in power. That's basically how I go. Yeah, Trump over here want to give um you know the police basically a slap on the wrist if they kill somebody. And Camilla is. She did say she can't really do anything for the black community specifically. So it's just like, which two of the evils are you? None of them. Yeah, you got to pick your poison. But vote for real. Vote for something because I hope this video gets to an electoral voter. Bro. Are you registered? Registered. On what? To vote. Oh. I don't think so. I think. What? I wait. I wait. Usually I wait till Cash App pop it up on my shit. I'd be like, all right, it's time to vote. Make sure you zoom in on my face. <laughs> Make sure you zoom in on my face. Man, like, Cash App got everything. They got you get your direct deposit through there, get stocks in there, all that. I just wait till that <laughs> shit pop up on Cash App, man. Okay. Uh, where, where, like you said, like when we started, when we started this episode, where do you you said you see yourself as an HR with the pantsuits and the <clears> red <throat> bottoms and mm-hmm. shit? That's what me. else do you see in your future? How many kids are you gonna have? Oh, that's. I mean. Um, at max, I only want to really, um, if even if I have kids, by the time I'm 30, if I'm not pushing out my first child, I ain't having no kids. Damn. I ain't having no kids. You got, my mother had me at 32. My mother had me at 34. What that's changing? That's not changing nothing. You right. It's not changing shit. <laughs> if I'm not married, it's not happening. We going to be married before you're 30 to have kids? Yes. Like what? Oh, that's, that's appropriate. That's- but like 28 is a good, oof. That's four years from now. That's a presidential term. We might be in war by then. You might not, <laughs> all the niggas might be dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, at the moment, mm, I don't know. I think. I think. I think. I don't. I, I think you should refrain yourself from putting yourself in a tick on a climb on the top on a ticking down time. You know what I mean? I mean, but the female body. I don't wanna. I don't wanna be like I mean, forty. Scientifically, that is how it works, but but that, I mean that's that's limiting to yourself. The next thing you know, you're gonna be with like a nerd that likes Ain't anime. No. Like, them niggas are weird. Okay, I'm some sorry. of them. Some, some of them. them. My my best my best friend Antoine love anime, and that nigga weird. <laughs> I'm sorry, Antoine. But See, she vouched you got for you. That. You weird. You weird, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling right now. I know I don't do phone calls, but I make an exception. It's like I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you have any more other questions? Anything you want to get in depth about? I want to get in depth. I want to get in depth on personally. I feel like you should. This is, I think, I brought you here to talk to these young women to talk about how important it is to fall in love with themselves, you know, because these these, these hoes are worshiping sexy red, 100% facts. Mm -hmm. You know what? They are. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's important to be an independent black woman. But one thing in a relationship that I had to realize, like, 
it's okay to let that little independent black woman be a little bit dependent on a man. Don't be fully dependent, but make sure you're letting him know that he's there for a reason. That you, in a, in a way, do need him. <clears throat> but um, still be that independent black woman. Get your own money. And secure the bag. Secure the bag, like they be saying on baddies. We about to go no. get to the bag. What you think about baddies? Baddie, baddie, shot a clock. I personally don't watch it. Man, surely be watching that shit like like they drop. Hey <laughs> yo, surely watch that no. shit like like the goddamn news. They just fight too much, so it's not my preference. They, it's just like fight here, fight there. Like damn, can you, can y'all talk a little bit? Can y'all talk? And then it's grown women. It's For grown real. women at that. Kids, so I just be, can't their kid, like it. bitch, your kids, your bitch, your kids can do algebra. They're too old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. If they can do algebra, they can pull up these clips to see as yeah, out like, like this. oh yeah, that's my mom. My mom is online shaking ass in front of the world. <laughs> like what? Literally, I can't. Me personally. But I mean, respect. Get, get your bag. How you gotta get your bag? I love watching that ratchet shit. You know, I love that ratchet shit. <laughs> Shout out to the ratchets. Hell no. But yep, go out, get your bag. Don't ever be fully dependent on a man. But I think I think it is something important. This might be. This might. I don't know. This is some a fool for thought that I have in my bag. It might be something important about holes and shit like that. You know what I mean? I think it's there's something in there that we don't know that's is helping keeping the world go. It's something Holes. in there because okay. like because like God's closest when He was on Earth, His His closest companions was the hoes. What is a hoe to you? What is define like define that to me? Like I mean, to put it in specific terms, I remember I remember last summer they threw a summer party. A pool party And it was like a video Of a girl Like it was like Four dudes and, and, and it was one girl And he was like In the middle of a pool party And he was like Sticking their fingers Like everywhere And all everywhere That you can oh, stick a finger It was a freak party One of those freak me But no it was like It was like It was like It was a regular pool party But like They were just doing that shit In, in an open And basically She came out afterwards And was just like I'm just a young intern I'll do it again so I would say that's my definition of bring life. back shame, bring back shame. Cause what the hell? But um, you know, it's like asking what what um purpose does a mosquito serve in our ecosystem? So I really don't know what hoes. I don't know what they do. What their purpose is? In some our they get some. They generating off some energy. We using it some way, somewhere. Cause they, cause off. like I mean. Yeah, I guess. I mean, the holes keeping sun, up, keeping some lights on somewhere. That's what I, that's what I feel. I mean, I feel like everything serves its purpose. I don't feel like we should ever deem anything immiscible or shit like that. Yeah, there were prostitutes in the Bible. I'm not saying not all hoes are prostitutes, but what you just told me right there that that was crazy. Yeah, she she didn't get paid. She was just she Doing paid it for free. She paid her money to get there. Mm. Damn. She was like, I'd do that shit again. I yeah. want to know where she at right now, personally. Personal information. Mm. I hope she's doing bigger and better things than what she. She's probably the mayor or something. She gonna be something in life. Mm-hmm. But for um, sure. But that's that's why that's why I feel like it's some it's some, that's why I feel like I don't know because God wouldn't God wouldn't fuck with the hoes. God was fucking with the hoes. So <laughs> what important like I'm trying to figure out the correlation of. What is what is going on here? What's what's making the what's making it electric? But that's that's just what I think about when I go to sleep at night. Mm. Um, let's talk about something smarter, smarter, something better, something better. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I just opened up the little small fucked up window in my head. Now everybody know what I think about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that at all. What's what do you where do you see yourself after you graduate college? Um, well, I'm trying to get an internship at the moment, so um, I'm not sure where I want to be specifically yet. Um, but you should you should abuse all them college benefits. Oh yeah, oh free yeah. Free newspapers. Um, I know I do free newspapers. You get a free subscription. Go ahead, finish about what you were saying about what you want to be. I'm about to Um, I just I really want to be in my own place with my dog with a. Pink Christmas tree. I really want a pink Christmas tree. Obsessed with the idea. I just want to decorate my place the way I want to decorate it and just be happy. Mm. That's it. That's all I want in life right now. Oh, so you, okay. What you want in life right now? I want to move to Texas. Oh, yeah. And launch businesses. Mm-hmm. What businesses? Anything. I don't care. Right now, I'm working on a fanny pack that I've been working on. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I had last night, the other night, I was then I was thinking about opening up a liquor store. 
Mm-hmm. So it's just just business, period. Like I like business. You always gonna need a liquor store, not gonna lie. That's what I'm saying. So, anywhere you go. I just love I just wanna get that's where I will see myself. I don't that's just more short term where I see myself going. But yeah, pretty much. You wanna get the money from the hoes that's um hanging their ass out the sunroof. Yes, I wanna have a sanction for the hoes, a safe place to so we can rejuvenate these hoes and send them out in society to to do whatever they're doing. Mm. They're keeping the world go round. That's what I want to do. We're going 30% off Costamigos all day. 30% is crazy. Hopefully hey, man. Only for the hoes. Only for the hoes. I'm going to be like, let me see your hoes. I'm going to be like, let me see your identification card at the line. Like, mm, mm, like oh. Yeah, no. You will know 30%. <clears throat> Got a question for you. Yeah. You believe in gender roles? Gender roles? Hell yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. So what's the role of a female? What's the role of a male? Um, To put it, basically, I would say... In 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 the best analogy I can think of, the men the men gender role is is the car is is the is the engine you know what I'm saying is Mm -hmm. to get you where you need to get the engine type shit, and I feel like the woman is more so the 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 um the shit that you put in the engine to keep it going like you know like the the oil and Mm -hmm. you know brake fluid and shit like that like the shit that you need so the maintenance no not the maintenance. Mm -hmm. The engine always needs that shit to keep running. Period. Mm-hmm. It needs gas. You know what I'm saying? That's what. I, that's what I think. <clears throat> okay, that's a good way to put it. I get what you're saying. Okay, so even that um, goes with in the household. Yeah, like I like 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 how you saw me lugging up all them bags yeah. earlier. Like I, I don't be I don't be making sure they carry shit honestly. Mm-hmm. So that's the, like that's that's one example how like I always. Like but when I whenever we go out and whenever we go out and shit and like it's a place where we don't go like I go first and like I go out and like I don't, I don't it's not I feel like if you a type of nigga to be like oh it's your turn like you just not that type of nigga like you need to get your shit together mm-hmm. so I don't you, believe in that you open doors and you stand on the right side of the road and yeah I try to know. okay as long as you try but sometimes I be forgetting to always always okay. get on the right side of the We're road not perfect. I'll be forgetting, but yes, I I do believe in general. I, I don't like. I hate when the niggas be like, "Yeah, it's your turn." Like I see niggas mm-hmm. do that to you to to that girl. Like it's your turn to take out the trash. Whoa, like, buddy. Yes, it's niggas like that. Mm-hmm. Niggas don't give a fuck, buddy. Niggas see themselves as equal, and like of course, yeah, women have in the last hundred years been fighting for their rights to be equal to us. But like gen- genetically, this is it's just not it's not a thing. I ain't taking out no trash. No, for real. Like you light skin, you don't even you shouldn't have to do anything. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> I'm you know a little dark right now, summer tan, but you, you, you know. like you like you like not that light like skin. But what do you think about Jen Rose? Um, uh, I mean, I shouldn't always be the one, you know, cooking and cleaning. I feel like that's a shared activity. Oh yeah. But well, I I will take on most of the responsibility for sure. I'll do laundry and stuff, but like. Help me as well. Don't I feel like those are chores. Like they are like chores. They should they should be <clears throat> spread out equally and like that's just chore shit. Like I feel like that should it be is. spread out equally. It's not just a woman's job to clean up. I will take joy in cooking for you, but if you're requesting that every night, I mean there's gonna be some times where I don't feel like it. Um I just maybe I wanna be pampered. I just don't want it to be forced down my throat, you know? Yeah. And I don't I wanna be given the option as to whether I wanna stay at home. If I'm taking, if I'm caring for your kids, like if I want to stay at home or if I want to work, mm-hmm. which I probably will work, cause the way the economy looking, we about to all be at Amazon. <laughs> 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 no real shit. No for real. Yo. I was at the grocery store like, bitch, what? <laughs> bitch, what? No real shit. Shit is expensive out here, and I have no problems with being in a partnership as long as we get through it together. No, for real. I feel like I feel like, and that's just crazy because like those those institutions and systems like they are they like they are I feel like they're made as a as something to tear us apart type shit because mm-hmm. you you might fall out with a nigga because he can't do the cover the rent yeah like and that's that's really that's and then, and that sucks and that sucks that we are losing relationships over materialistic shit like that. See, I mean, a lot of relationships do end because of money problems. Me personally, I've been in um, a relationship with money problems. And it's just like, um, I wasn't in any position to judge that man either. So, I mean, I helped him when he needed help. He helps me when I needed help. So, it's just mm-hmm. like, 
some days it's going to be 50 50 some days it's going to be 100 100 some days it's going to be 30 70 yeah. right now I, right That's now funny. i'm praying show don't leave me because i don't got no job <laughs> i'm hoping <laughs> I don't know That's what I'm it's saying okay. later. That's why I need to get it flipping it's just, it's, just, it's just starting to dry out I need to get it flipping Shorty gonna be like oh, You don't got nothing Put your chick for like <laughs> I mean As long as you trying Like you looking for it It's not like you out here Being a bum or no shit You ain't got no hustle So Yeah mm-hmm. Um. So is there anything Is there anything That you want people to take from this What do you think people should take from this mm-hmm. I feel like the first one Should be God yeah, for sure, for sure. Build your relationship with God. We don't know when the rapture is gonna happen. Y'all need to get close with God. Stuff is really going down. Like, repeat. Stuff is repeating in the Bible. Like, with war, we're supposed. I think we're supposed to like all die out from what war and disease. Pretty much. Yeah. Disease, <clears throat> war, and um, <clears throat> just make sure you write with God. I don't know. Go to that local church that you've been hesitant on going to. Wake up in the morning. It's worth it. You be going to Gospel Tabernacle? Yes, Gospel Tabernacle Baptist Church. That's Shit. where I go. That's where I need to go. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, Your mother is. goes every Sunday. I don't know why you're not there. She be telling you to, hey, Chris, get out of bed. Or she be, no, she said every Sunday she wake you up. Hey, Chris, you come to church with me and you never get up. I don't be getting up. Yeah. It's okay. I, don't know. I don't It's just like I don't know I feel like I'm falling Into the trap of like Like just And it's, and it's gonna hurt me In the future run And my health wise Like I feel like I'm falling Into the trap of just like Just like eating shit And just Grinding shit out Like just doing shit Every day Like just mm-hmm. doing shit I don't feel like I'm getting in the trap of that And that's gonna hurt me I'm gonna fucking Lose my relationships I'm gonna fuck my health up Yeah You remember that one time It was New Year's Eve where you, you almost fucked up your relationship with me and 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 on Liberty Road when he was fighting your you don't even remember that when you was drunk and shit and almost jumped off the roof, nigga. At my house? Yes, at your house. I remember. I remember my father told me I tried to jump off the roof. Bro, I cried that night because I don't remember that shit. bro, you were pissing me off, bro. Yeah, you need to stop drinking and smoking like that. And whatever you was doing back then, I'm glad you don't do that shit now because I was on Parmesan back then. Oh, <laughs> nigga, nigga. I was on Parmesan back then. That I was think. a night. That was a night. You and Aunt almost y'all almost fought in the middle of Liberty Road. I would have won too. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, yeah, you would got hit by your car. Yeah, okay. But anyway, no, I don't mm-hmm. remember that at all. Oh, okay, and then um, your mom pulled up and you started bawling like a child, bro. I don't know what trauma or what was going on, but as soon as you saw your mom, you turned into a five year old and it just started bawling. I was like, bro. Yeah, I don't remember none of that. I don't bro, know that what... happened three years ago. I ain't even gonna lie. I remember that shit like it was yesterday. That was very traumatic. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I apologize for for my actions for three years ago. That's okay. No, you good. I need to apologize for that. That wasn't that wasn't right. It was it was never gonna be okay to do some wild shit like that. And I don't even remember it like that. But that is crazy that you don't remember that shit. I don't. If if my father would have never told me I jumped out the window, uh, like no, if. My window is broke Like I can't It don't stay up Like mm. if it was never broken It was fine Like I probably genuinely Would have forgot about that mm. Situation enti- entirely mm. Yeah Yeah <sighs> Yeah mm-hmm. There's a plenty of stories But that's a That's a talk for another time That's a talk for that's another time That's a podcast for another time No I'm not putting that shit Out to the public <laughs> You're not, I'm not This ain't that This ain't Bro. that I'm putting out the narrative I want to put out Just like everybody else I'm a perfect person I never have I don't have any flaws and that's about it. Yeah, I know that's right. Mm. And I believe in God. Living your truth. Living your truth. That's 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 where my mindset is in the present day. Mm. I'm trying to forget about splitting pills with me and my mans and fucking us being fucked up in the car and shit like that. Bro, you really been through some shit. Little do they know. <laughs> Little do they know. Um, well, I don't really have anything else to say. You do? Mm mm. No okay. We're gonna close it out on that note. Believe in God. Tune in next time, Mm -hmm. and thank you for watching. Goodbye.